you know, in terms of uh, your recognition that having some core values um, as opposed to a strict set of regenerative practices is what was really going to make your farm successful and um, kind of honor your de dedication to your daughter's health. I'm wondering if you see um, these practices of like delving into your values and really digging into um, the nitty gritty of your farm and making all your decisions based on like the driving value or values. Do you see this as um, a hopeful path that's achievable for a broader range of your peers? Because you have a very uh, inspiring but kind of lightning bolt origin story of how this change happened on your farm. And that's something that really went straight to the heart of your family. So do you think that there is support needed um, for your farming peers to be able to dig in in the same way and start this regenerative journey in their own farming businesses when, as we know, it's very hard to make a living farming. Yeah, yeah. So I would say that um, this combination of values and testing isn't just uh, achievable. I think it's necessary. Um, so one of the, uh, there's kind of three reasons why I think that. Uh, one is that the values and testing piece connects the context to the practices, I think, in that um, like lots of people can come and copy all my practices and it won't work for them because they have a different context. They don't they have a different uh, situation that they're in, like whether that's rainfall or whatever. And so being able to know what they're trying to achieve and then be able to test the feedback loops to see if that's the direction they're going, I think, is very important. And that's from a garden scale to like our large scale um, situation as well. Uh, the second thing is that uh, understanding values helps with human relationships. Working with in-laws is really difficult, but if we know that we have this <laughs> shared um, human health value, we're able to work out some of these other things because we know the goal that we're, we're striving towards. And then the third thing is it provides motivation for us to overcome challenges. It's uh, really, in some situations, it'd be really easy to quit. But when it's like, oh, I'm doing this for this value of better health for people, it makes it really a lot easier to overcome those, those challenges that would normally make you want to quit. Um, as far as support, it is possible to like do some of this stuff yourself, read books, uh, like Brené Brown has a chapter in her book, Dare to Lead, that uh, talks about kind of figuring out what your values are. Um, the biggest thing for me has been having that coach to be able to bounce some of these things off of and get that, um, get that, that's another feedback. Just sometimes I have blind spots and I need someone else to see what that, that feedback is supposed to be. Uh, and no matter which approach you take, uh, the most important factor, I think, is to be honest with yourself. Um, if you're not honest with yourself, you can do all this stuff and uh, the process won't be helpful. So those would be my kind of key things that I would say to someone that's interested in that. <clears throat> Amazing. And I love that a uh, big part of your uh, sort of business research is the coaching, but also, for example, Brene Brown, who's really well known for her work on vulnerability. Um, and that is a cornerstone of leadership in a gender that is, is really inspiring. 